Well, hey there, guys. Uh, your buddy Elton McFall here in uh, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And, uh, well, you have to excuse me, I'm a little bit tired there. I just finished a painting, as you can see in the title. I'm ecstatic and a bit tired. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, now you finally get to see the end result of all this work, and it's been like, uh, I don't know, seven months or so. So, um,. Yeah, you know, it, it, it took so long, not just because it was daunting and a very challenging painting, uh, but because, yeah, I took my time on it, like, you know, I do with all my paintings, and, um, you know, obviously, if I'm feeling tired, I never work on it. It's just, it's not the kind of thing you can work on when you're tired, frankly, you know, like, you know, so many things in life. You can see a bit of my new look painting there. Ah, I might as well show you that. Yeah, I just had it framed. Look at that, what do you think? Just had her framed. Yeah, pretty nice. That's definitely shot up the value of that, that's for sure. Anyway, back to the interior of the MR63 Metro. Oh, well, well, it feels good to sit down. I tell you, I think I've been standing for two and a half hours because I was finishing working on the uh, the lights, you can see up there, which really wasn't easy at all. It, it seems simple, but it isn't. Um, and then, of course, at the same time, I finished with the pole. And the pole, I had to use uh, masking tape, as you can see here, to actually get the lines real straight because it's very hard to do a straight line in a, you know, in a drawing, but especially a painting. When you're painting, it's really not easy. And as you can see, I still got all my stuff here. I just wanted to, you know, film this right away. And there's, there's Gloria taking taking a snooze. Hey, pussy cat, meow, meow, meow. What a cutie. She's a cutie patootie. And, uh, yeah, so it's, uh, I tried to do the floor as much as I could, uh, which, which, how they looked, uh, prior to the, uh, 1991 uh, or 92 renovations of all these metro cars. That's, they look pretty much like that. And same thing, of course, with the seats, the seats, how they looked in, uh, in 60, um, you know, when they were built in the 60s. A little bit of glare going on here. I don't like that. Hang on a second. I'll try something. Yeah, that's a bit better. That's a glare. That's too much glare. I don't like it. Hang on a second, folks. That's a bit better. I've got a, a different setting. What was really fun to do, though, because I've always loved color which is why I hate these modern colorless cars, was the uh, Expos ad here. Well, I should say Calex, which was a chain of uh, gas stations back in the day. And uh, I'm like, yeah, it was fun to do all different colors. And uh, the only thing I, I, I dropped the ball on was, you see that brown is really supposed to be more of a rust orange. I couldn't match it, then I got fed up. So I said, you know what, let's do it that way. You know, when you're a perfectionist and you do something like this, well, let's say monumental for me anyway. It's, um, you know, you can go nuts trying to figure out, you know, what to do what. And, uh, you know, oh, it's not good enough. I should fix this. I should fix that. Even the the, uh, the door sill here at the bottom, um, I forgot to, to finish it towards the right. Uh, but I'm like, you know what? I thought about what my friend Simon said. He's like, oh, he says it looks good like that. It looks okay. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Leave it like that. And I just signed it. And, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, like I said, I'm pretty tired. I don't know what else to say. Um, just really glad it's done. And uh, if I ever sell it, uh, <laughs> it's going to be many, many, mucho hundred of dollars. Mucho hundreds of dollars. Maybe if I kill the overhead light, it'll look a little bit better here. Yeah, there's still a lot of glare. It's from the window, that's why. Yeah, it's the window doing that. Let's do something a little different. You can get a better look at it here. Yeah, it's not bad. No, it's better. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, so that's, uh, I guess that's about that. So, 
Do you see when you have a vision and you got a plan, you got the skills, it can be done. But uh, I knew it was going to be challenging, but frankly, uh, it was actually more challenging than I thought. So, and you know, I'd like to say, you know, that something on here was easy. But it wasn't easy. Even the wall, I mean, it took me several coats of paint to match the correct gray. The doors, uh, the seats weren't too bad, but I think it was the ad, the, the Calex ad here for the $2 to go see a baseball game, an Expos baseball game. I think that was actually the easiest thing, frankly. And I could have kept going on this fucking thing until the cows come home, but I'm like, man, uh, that's it, you know, I just, it's, it's over, it's done, over and out, finito, you know, sayonara, so, anyway, so, uh, as usual, I appreciate your comments, and, uh, you know what to do, uh, like that stuff, you know, and, uh, yeah, tired, but satisfied, you know, uh, you know what they say, you gotta go through hell before you get to heaven, I love all these old expressions, I live a lot of my life by that, so anyways, guys, Take it easy. Rock on.